turn the mic on the whole time. Oh my god. Wow. This whole time I've been wanting this mic to work. This might be a bad scenario for me. Oh my god, it might be really bad. But, let's see. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Malika B and welcome back to my channel where we discuss fashion, history, legacy, a little fashion tech, and a little bit of science sometimes if it applies. I'm hoping that you're having a blessed day, that I'm seeing you and greeting you in the best of spirits, but let's go ahead and get into this fashion talk right now. So I'm going to be premiering some fashion that I found once again on Moda Operandi and a little bit on Farfetch.com. And I decided to kind of look at fashion from all around the world. You all know me, I love black designers, I love Asian designers, and I love designers from all over the world who have something that's different from, I guess, the traditional four brands that everybody else knows. I like to look at the eclectic, you know, the revolutionary pieces, the pieces that have a little bit of fashion tech in them, the pieces that stand out, the pieces that maybe nobody in your town is wearing, you know? And I think that's pretty much how I kind of live my fashion life. I tend not to dress in any of the things that most people around me wear because I'm looking for something that is distinct, that is unique, you know? Maybe if I were in another country, I'd be looking like everybody else. But here in Atlanta, Georgia, land of the real housewives of Atlanta, I'm guaranteed to be um, able to, you know, have my authenticity <laughs> here. All right, so basically I was able to find some pieces from a designer that's probably not well known in America at all. She might not be well known in some other regions, but she definitely is famous and making a lot of strides. Have you heard of Anuki? Not um, that like video game website thing, but Anuki, A-N-O-U-K-I. Anuki is a brand. Let me make sure that I get into giving the correct spelling and credence to her name. Whoop. Anuki is a brand, it's Anuki Adeshidzi. Is a Georgian fashion designer and she's based in Tbilisi. Do you know where Tbilisi is? It's in Georgia, but not Atlanta, Georgia. It's in Georgia all the way over in Europe, like all the way over there. Somewhere, I think not far from Romania. It's somewhere over there, like not far from Russia too, but it's all the way over there. So, Adushidzi, she studied at the Institute of Baragoni and Academy de Luso in Milan. Milan is in Italy, I think most of y'all know that. And she's also married to a retired footballer, of course that's soccer, for those of y'all don't catch that drift, and she, he's the current mayor of TBDC in Georgia. That's pretty cool, you can be a retired soccer player and then you turn into the mayor. That's cool, and his name is Kaka Kaladzi, so her married name is Anuki Kaladzi, her maiden name is Arashidzi, and the couple have four children together. She's fairly young actually, and Anuki is a women's ready to wear a shoe and accessory brand and they're based and produced in Tbilisi, Georgia. Tbilisi, Georgia is a powerhouse for producing beautiful, sophisticated and um, avant-garde pieces. If you are not familiar with them, I'm going to make sure that you are familiar with them. I'm even going to include another designer from um, Georgia as well in this um, segment. Enrique is also the creative director and the founder behind the label and that's the brand name Anuki and it simply comes from her first name and it's proving that this is a very unique and it's a super personal project for her and she makes modern women's wardrobe essentials you know you have your blouses you've got your long shirt dresses you've got your leather coats and she makes eco leather pieces nothing is leather nothing is coming from a cow she's very very eco-friendly everything is like vegan leather but I'm talking about that high quality eco leather not pleather stuff that you can't even tell isn't leather unless you know you smell it you know how real leather has that smell but she's known for pairing up unexpected colors and fabrics together with the leather or with pieces sometimes she'll have a bright orange you know leather jacket and it's really tailored and structured in such a way that it has a surprise detail to the element also on some of her belts there's like a little rhinestone embroidered a on the end i discovered that on one of my pieces and that was just like oh this is so sexy it's so cute and this is the first ever Georgian ready-to-wear brand to be included in the official schedule of Milan Fashion Week and present to an international audience. That's really big, so let's go ahead and give her a round of applause for making that accomplishment. You know, and she presents four seasonal collections each year. I think in the pandemic they kind of slowed down a bit, you know, they're not doing 
quite as many they've been doing a lot of sales and things just because you know the pandemic has hit a lot of our businesses and made us say maybe we should produce one collection less maybe we should only produce two collections you know in a year and so she's really the first Georgian designer to actually do pre-collections. You know, pre-collections are like trunk shows, kind of like moda operandi, where you, you know, put your deposit down on whatever the designer has, you pay for half of it, and then you pay for the rest when it's due to be delivered at your house, you know? And she's a very successful fashion brand in Georgia and in Europe, and she's already having so much international success. She has a lot of stockists, and that's what I keep saying, like Moda Operandi is one of their stockists, um, Farfetch is one of their stockists, I think um, Maya Teresa also, and I think Luisa Villaroma, and they offer like one standard traditional store, you know, it's in a shopping corner in Tbilisi, one day if I ever get to travel there, which you never know, I might do that since I like to travel to countries that start with G, Guatemala, Guadalupe, I think there will be something maybe to consider, you know, I love the fashion. Why not just go ahead and take yourself on a nice little fashion trip and come back with some stuff in your suitcase for your family and for myself. Alright, so basically the brand started in 2013. They opened up a store. They moved really quickly with scaling up. Like they, she didn't work um, slow. She made sure that she was moving and grooving quickly, okay? And by 2014, they did their first runway show and it was one of the most anticipated fashion shows of the year. Like the buzz got out really big about her brand and 2014 she started doing e-commerce she's got the website going on and she does Paris showroom later then she also produces a line in 2015 for Harvey Nichols in Hong Kong and Isaten Tokyo and that was super cool you know and then she designs like a second line called Miss Anuki and that has immediate success like late 2015 she opens up another store then she opens up another store like and then they debuted their first pre-collection and that was in 2016 i don't think i found out about them really until the last year basically or last year and a half and they participated like in vogue italia also like she was the new talent you know the new talent person on the stage and her stock has really increased big time like the amount of stores her stuff was in went from five and some of them were her own to 25 in one season like the buzz got super big it's my hope that anyone who is a designer that you reach that same level of success that you see your amount of reach your fashionable reach grows magnanimously i'm really praying that for you and praying that for myself as well by 2017 you know she's participating in the official milan fashion week her stockers are now reaching to like 50 and they're represented on every continent around the world i mean like it really does not get much better than that that's amazing she does two presentations she does vegan leather in 2019 for her first time in the collections and then she does a five-year runaway anniversary show and that's the one where i saw some of those pieces that i actually have now and they also have a new store like a whole store area in a shopping mall in tbilisi georgia but without further ado I bought eco leather pieces and some of that I had to read so you know you just gotta roll with the punches but I bought eco leather pieces and they're such high quality pieces like I adore them I adore these pieces um, one of them was a little surprising you know they hooked me up with a beautiful army bag this outfit this outfit shipped from the UK and I love a good shirt dress I love a leather shirt dress but I love a good shirt dress I love that little throw back to like um you know the 50s kind of look like you a little cute 50s fabulous glamorous black housewife you know what i'm talking about on some vintage black hollywood look at these look at that right there oh my goodness and it's mine too like oh keep telling you when something is meant for you it's just meant for you and can't nobody take it away from you and of course moda Aferani gives you those beautiful hangers everything's all nice and velvet and decadent give you the gorgeous handbags and garment bags to put your outfit in. I'm just gonna put it on top of whatever I have on just to give an example. Oh, and it fits better now. That is just perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, this is the Anuki. Oh, it does, it fit, oh man, but it's a leather, eco leather. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know anybody that has stuff like this. Like this is just, woo, and then it's cut on the bias. Like I can literally just, Get my complete so oh no, I'm knocking my plans over. Sasha Shante spin on in this piece. Like there is no denying that it's made well. It's 
fully lined like it's lined so well this literally feels like a coach dress it's heavy too it feels like a coat dress it doesn't feel like oh it's just a shirt dress nothing about it feels that way i have a oh, what ended up wrong plan to wear this for something that i'm doing coming up it's gonna be real dramatic and just really exciting anyway it has pockets and the pockets are partially lined in eco leather and then the other part is the lining part but it's like i said she does the a on all of her things i mean you just this this is cute you can't even you can't even tell me that it's not cute walking down the house runway and i saw the video of the models and i was like so i'm getting that so i'm getting that and of course it was like the last one in the store and it was in a small i think this is a small not an extra small and i went ahead click that purchase button and this of course was another crazy sale i want to say like 60 percent off i think it was 900 i know that sounds crazy oh my god 900 dollars, right it was 900 dollars originally if it wasn't then it was lower than that but i got it for like literally 207 dollars. that's it that's it and this is thick it's durable that's a great great price oh my gosh that's such a amazing price for something with such amazing tailoring and quality the design is beautiful and it's something that you can keep like leather is always going to revolve in and out of style i don't really see leather going nowhere but you know like just look at the details they give you garment bags this is why i love shopping with moto operandi because it's always a beautiful experience if you are a designer starting up your brand please make sure that you give your customers beautiful pleasant experiences when they open those boxes up even if you're one of those boutique stores give your customers in a beautiful experience make it powerful make it beautiful make it sensual sensual in a way that it appeals to their senses does it smell good when you open this up this has smelled good it's just been sitting in my closet now so it just smells like my house but it had a beautiful smell like almost like a light perfumed something that's not typical everything smelled great very very luxe very high quality completely enamored with it all right so this piece right here that i bought i bought it because i was trying to look like something off the runway i bought it and i was this was an impulse but a thought out impulse at the last minute i bought it and you know it was oversized it's a coat it's by a new as well and it has a reversible they really hooked it up with like making sure that it arrives safely so it's a trench coat but this gave me the signature the real anuki i got that this time and it's a reversible leather equal leather trench coat reversible so like i'm just get to be glamorous like glam glam oh this actually looks cute with my scarf oh it's kind of cute today when i first tried it on i was just not feeling it i don't even think i was feeling well so maybe that's probably why I had filmed an unboxing for that, which I'm not going to show you because I had a fever. Not COVID, but you know, like, okay, like today, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's supposed to be oversized, so this is literally a size 2. What, French 34 size? It might be a size 0. I'm not a size 0 in real life. I'm like a 2-4, but it's oversized where I'm sure anybody even up to like an 8 or whatever. So you could be bigger than that. 12 you can fit this but it's reversible look at the back though the detailing okay now then it's a popping color that nobody has it's heavy but it still has a lightweight breathable like it's not going to make me suffocatingly hot then i have the inside sequins you know unlike the people on the bus back in the day they used to sell you watches when they open up i got sequins for sale you know what i'm saying sequence but i really today i like the piece when i first bought it you really couldn't convince me to like it but maybe it's because i had a fever look at the a embroidered a sitting there so let's go ahead and turn it inside out turn it inside out turn it turn it turn it turn it i thought i'm getting naked on this thing because that will make it more difficult to resell but the georgian designers have such a great command 
of design. Y'all need to watch out for them because they're coming for the industry. It's not just going to be dominated by Louis, Gucci, Dior, Chanel, and Prada. And okay, it's just not going to be. Black designers are amazing. African designers. You have Asian designers. Okay, today um, I don't have the thing, but that's it. When it's trying, I wish I had a different scarf. This is like super. This is couture right here. This is not just designer, it's couture looking. And so I feel like I should be at somebody's red carpet fashion week if I wear this. I really want to get invited to fashion week. I think I deserve a spot there. I've earned my place in the fashion world. Just by being myself, I would love to be in there. I don't have to be mega famous. I think I should go. I would love to be there. I would love to watch shows and regularly get invited to go. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Bismillah, inshallah. If God wills, with the name of God, I wanna go. So this is a new key right here, right now, in Atlanta, Georgia, from Tbilisi, Georgia. And let me just tell you one more thing. Their design team is amazing, okay? And I'm talking about the design team that's also in Tbilisi. A lot of the designers work together and network together to create like super brands and another brand that I shot from that's from TBDC they also do the eco leather heavy is material I love me some material I can't wait I got two pieces three pieces on my list from material and one more piece from the new key, which I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want nobody to buy it while I am um, <laughs> preparing to get it and saving I'm not going to tell anybody what it is but you'll see me if I do get it anyway Tbilisi, Georgia has great designers and material. Oh my god, such a big piece. Has this beautiful trench coat that I got. I'm sorry. And this is when I first said I'm going to do a YouTube channel. I bought this jacket and it shipped all the way from Georgia. It took forever. They did DHL. I don't know where the um the coat thing is, but you know, they have I guess a narrow constituents that live there. It fits really well in the waist, but you know. As you can see, it's not giving the folded trench coat thing because my hips are not that narrow. Anyway, it's so nice though. The quality of the eco leather, like I've gotten so many compliments off of this. I wore this, you know, during the pandemic. I used to go do my errands or whatever I needed to do, a meeting or something, and it's just like it's instant eye catching. Like we're bringing back long, full length leather coats, and I think you should have one. And I think you should have one. And I think you should have one. Put one into your wardrobe. All right, this is material. You've done a new key. This is a short, you know, quick, short, brief one about the fashion that's in Georgia. If I come out with some of the other ones, you will know because I'm gonna let you know. But if you feel, but if any of my content was useful for you, feel free to share it. You know, feel free to like and to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all the support because it helps us to grow. I'm trying to do something way bigger than what I'm doing right now, but this is a start and I'm really happy with my start. So I look forward to continue to grow and to continue to do these fashion stories and unboxings for you. I might even do a fashion meditation or something, which I think was really, really cool, like manifesting fashion. All right, so I want you to have a beautiful, blessed, and powerful day because I think I'm going to do the same. All right, take care. This is Malika B signing off. Bye.